This is our 2022 Toyota Corolla Hybrid. We bought it with one year, 26,026 miles on it. I've put about a thousand miles on it, washed it a couple times, added some fuel to it. So far, I'm able to get in excess of 60 miles per gallon out of this vehicle. And you might wonder how that is. Well, Wayne, W-A-Y-N-E, GERDS, teaches how to get ultra high fuel economy out of a vehicle like this using a collection of techniques called hypermiling. Now that blue Prius you see over there, that's a 2010 Prius. If we um, go like this here, we can see that's, that's Meg's third gen Toyota Prius right here. But uh, the Corolla Hybrid was a much more efficient version. So it has the same two ZR FXE engine, but instead of a nickel metal hydride battery of 1.2 kilowatt hours, this one features a 0.75 kilowatt hour lithium carbonyl battery or lithium ion battery. Being 2,850 pounds, it's a few hundred pounds lighter than the Prius. It's also smaller and more um, aerodynamic. I like the styling a lot better too. I think it's a much cooler design. The same kind of design principle can be seen on the 2022 Toyota Camry, which is also available in a hybrid. So I'm not telling anyone what to drive or anything, but I'm able to get over 80 miles per gallon just driving this one gently. So lift off the throttle, go a little bit slower, don't accelerate fast. You'll find that at around 50 miles per hour, you get better fuel economy than you do at 70 or 80. That's because it takes less net energy to go 50. It's also the aerodynamic crossover point where vehicles start to consume more fuel. Also, if you accelerate at just one mile per hour per second, that'll minimize rapid start fuel waste. So driving gentle also makes the car get better fuel economy. It also makes the engine last longer. In general, the more gently you drive, the longer your vehicle will last. The engine will last longer, the brakes will last longer. It'll just last longer. A great illustrative point is that vehicles used in racing have really high ownership costs. They have to have the engine taken down, suspension parts, brake parts, especially rally racing, it breaks the suspension and parts. They, Doing a rally racing team costs millions of dollars. If we were to convert this into a racing vehicle, we wouldn't use this one. We would use the GR Corolla hatchback with its um, 1.6 liter turbocharged 300 horsepower engine and all wheel drive system. It would be a superior rally car. I bought this as a commuter, ideal for stop and go. The hybrid electric drivetrain of Toyota hybrids excels in city fuel economy. And that's where they're starting and stopping a lot where the auto start stop system and the EV modes enable it to go, st you know, start and stop from zero to 10 miles per hour, zero and 15 miles per hour while leaving the gas engine off. And if you're stopped, the gas engine's off. Auto start stop and brake regen are one of the reasons that Toyota hybrids are getting, you know, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 miles per gallon. And that's kind of like seven liters per hundred kilometers or 5.5 liters per hundred kilometers or 4.5 liters per hundred kilometers or 3.9 liters per hundred kilometers. I can get this down to 3.2 liters per hundred kilometers with hypermiling, just gentle driving. And that's on my route from South Renton all the way through Bellevue to downtown Bellevue where I'm a school bus driver. So it's a very hilly route. There's places in the country that are flat where you could probably get 90 miles per gallon hypermiling. Wayne Gerds, W-A-Y-N-E-G-E-R-D-E-S, is a Canadian man who teaches people hypermiling. On Autoblog Green years ago, that's where I learned about hypermiling. So hypermiling is a collection of techniques that maximizes fuel economy, and it works on ships and boats and airplanes and trains. It turns out that there's a specific operating speed where every vehicle achieves its peak energy economy. And hypermiling keeps the vehicles in, in those modes of super high efficiency more of the time. That's the whole goal of hypermiling is to maximize your fuel economy. 
And the side benefit of that is that it lowers your emissions. So you have less toxic effect on the biosphere. So you're not harming public and environmental health as much. By making your vehicle last longer, you're also producing less harm on the environment. It's a lot to think about. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Have a beautiful day.